2022 Bassmaster Open, Northern Open, Oneida Lake. It's been interesting practice. Had some big heavy weights a couple of days and other days like hardly any weight at all. So this video here will be all about how we got those heavy weights. Oh. Ned rig. Ned rig. You get out of your way. I'll probably just sit down in your seat here in a second. Well, it took two and a half hours, but I got myself a smallmouth bass. Having a blast with smallmouth bass. That there's a bite me tackle. Jackpot, promo code below. Been to an eye lake four times now and has never ceased it's to amaze me how quickly and effectively it can humble me. John DeMont and I practiced together for four days and it was up and down. We had 18 pound limits, 17 pound limits, followed by hurricane force winds that really sidelined us for much of the day. And then even a slower day on the last, on our fourth day was real slow. But we really figured out a couple of things that were working out there. Swim baits, quarter ounce, 3.3 inch Kitek perch colored was really effective during practice and it was very good for John in the first day of the tournament. He got a three fish limit and was sitting in right around 70th place, only about a pound out of the money after one day. We caught some fish on a Ned Rig again, bite me tackle jackpot this time for the Ned Rig, but that was effective at times. It kind of sputtered, but the drop shot rig was quite good for me. My drop shot rig consisted of a Berkeley Max scent flat worm any either the 3.6 or 4.25 inch goby colored but the tournament came now the tournament started with my co-angler catching a four pounder on his second no third cast with a zara spook it was dead calm and this was my doom really from the beginning because it didn't adjust correctly to the dead calm conditions on day one i mean duck about calm holy cow the lake was glass and I hadn't seen anything like that throughout practice. Thus, I really didn't throw much top water, didn't have any confidence in it, and he just kicked me with that thing. He caught two fish that weighed 710. When it's calm like this, it's hard to beat top water. I mean, it really is. It's just hard to beat top water. On day two of the tournament, I was ready for it in the morning. I had a Rico top water. By the way, all the tackle I use is in the description down below. You have to treat people with respect. And when you get a, a speaker, Goodness sakes, he just blew up on it. Oh my gosh, I turned to look at you for a second. I'm no longer looking at you, Brandon. Never. Unbelievable. He was on for a split second. I just. Oh. No more. No more, Brandon. Yeah, we, we, can, we can shut up. And, uh... No, I like the dialogue. But yeah, I was saying, I, I'm all about people. You can believe whatever you want. You gotta treat people right. Yeah. You got a speaker. I don't care. I don't care if they were coming and talking about something you don't even like. But that—that that is something unbelievable. They would do something like that. And I had—I had that kid come. There you go.
it. I think I missed the same fish on that hook just a moment ago. Either that or there's a couple of them out there. Pop R, Rico. Get up there and catch one, buddy. Yeah, that fish was in the mood for meat and salad all at once. He's real small, but he's shoot. I don't know if he's 12 inches or not. Made a big record. He did. All that commotion for this little guy, huh? And then I missed one flipping a uh, creature bait, a bruiser's, no, excuse me, not a bruiser bait, butcher's baits, creature bait into there, and it, I, it wasn't a big fish, set the hook, and it come off just as it got to the surface. Oh, jeez, we see a guy coming down? But it would have been nice to have my second keeper. But that's all she wrote on day one. And then I got in, you know, finally got some drop shot fish going again. In the second half of the day, the wind blew, got a nice chop on the lake. And I think that was very advantageous for me. My drop shot, I will say, I, I use an uh, owner number size one octopus hook, but I am not sponsored or even affiliated with Motley Fishing up in Minnesota in any way. But I can tell you, before I left, I ordered three tungsten drop, I'm sorry, 30, 30 tungsten drop shot weights from them. Express shipping cost me $50. Maybe it's a fish. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the little guy. Yeah. But it will be number five for me. Woo! Let's assume I can get him in. Yeah. Don't jinx it. Yeah. Count till they're in. Now what I can tell you from the winners, honestly, many of the top finishers in that term as boaters, they, they did something I should have done. See, I spent way too much time sitting on spots, sitting on them, waiting for fish. Shouldn't be doing that kind of stuff out on a body of water like Oneida. What all the top finishers seem to be doing is the same strategy is that they were running and gunning. They would run to a rock pile at size of a bass boat, maybe size of three or four bass boats, They'd fish for 10, 15, 20 minutes tops, and then they ran off to another one. And they would have, any, most of these top finishers had 8 to 15 spots, or even up to 20 spots, I heard one guy talking. And they would hit them as many times as they could, knowing that maybe they didn't bite this time, or the second time, or the third time, or the fourth time, and eventually, they did. So if I got to fish this tournament all over again, I would definitely find more, let's say, isolated rock. Isolated rock that isn't quite as large, because rock, definitely held fish and this body of water is loaded with perch loaded with perch and gobies but yet you know what was in my live wells and in the live wells of the other guys I travel with red crawdads not too 
come up. Don't you do it. Stay down. He'll call out my little peewee, but he's still not a big one. Well, that stinks. Sorry, man, that sucks. <laughs> man! <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, I'll see you in the water.